Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tofu here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we go ahead and build the Messerschmitt BF-109 G6. The Messerschmitt BF-109 is a German World War II fighter aircraft that was, along with the Focke-Wulf 190, the backbone of the Luftwaffe's fighter force. The BF-109 first saw operational service in 1937 during the Spanish Civil War. It was still in service at the dawn of the jet age at the end of World War II in 1945. It was one of the most advanced fighters when it first appeared with an all-metal monocule construction, a closed canopy, and retractable landing gear. It was powered by a liquid-cooled inverted V-12 aero engine. It was called the ME-109 by Allied aircrew and some German aces, even though that was not the official German designation. It was designated by Willy Messerschmitt and Robert Lusser, who worked at the uh, Basirk Flugzeug during the early to mid-1930s. It was conceived as an interceptor, although later models were developed to fulfill multiple tasks, serving as bomber escort, fighter bomber, day, night, all-weather fighter, ground attack aircraft, and reconnaissance aircraft. It was supplied to several states during World War II and served with several countries for many years after the war. The BF-109 is the most produced fighter aircraft in history, with a total of 33,984 four airframes produced from 1936 to April 1945. Some of the BF-109 production took place in Nazi concentration camps through slave labor. The BF-109 was flown by three top scoring fighter aces of all time who claimed 928 victories among them while flying with the uh, Jägerschwadt 52, mainly on the Eastern Front. The highest scoring, uh, Erich Hartmann, was credited with 352 victories. The aircraft was flown by Hans um, Josem uh, Marcelli, the highest scoring ace in the Northern, Northern African campaign, who shot down 158 enemy aircraft. It was uh, also flown by many aces from other countries fighting well, with Germany, notably the Finn, um, Amari um, Cetolani, the highest scoring non German ace. Pilots from Italy, Romania, Croatia, Bulgaria, and Hungary also flew the BF 109. Through constant development, the BF-109 remained competitive with the Allied fighter aircraft until the end of the war. So yeah guys, the BF-109 here, absolutely amazing model. The version we have here is the G6 model, which is about the mid-war uh, model when basically served until the end of the war. Um, I would say probably one of the most iconic versions of the BF-109 really. Uh, but yeah, this right here, really nice model. We got a cool livery on it and the BF-109 was notorious for having really cool liveries um, put on it by the Germans during World War II. And uh, they really, Germans really excelled on putting some cool camouflages on some of their stuff, that's for sure. And uh, the BF-109 was one of those main airframes that really saw a lot of cool camos done to it. Um, so really excited to go ahead and offer you guys a redesign. Uh, the B old BF-109 we have on the channel is very old and outdated, and this uh, bad girl here is going to replace her. And um, definitely going to have a good spot in all your guys' worlds, especially World War II and Germany. Um, with Germany involved in the war, even some Axis countries and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and all that fun stuff. This is the new BF-109 that is being used currently on my airbase uh, that Let's Build I'm doing, which is um, at the time of making this video currently still going on. If you are interested in watching it, I definitely recommend it. If you're interested in anything uh, doing with German uh, military history, aviation, all that stuff, we're trying to make a really accurate Luftwaffe uh, airbase Let's Build, and we've been doing a lot of few live streams on it, and also a few episodes of this let's build series so i highly recommend you guys check it out if you are interested in that kind of stuff because it is a really fun series so far and i've been having a blast building a world war ii themed um airbase so definitely feel free to check that out and um yeah with that let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at the bf109 uh we don't have much to cover with it really i mean as i mentioned this is a g6 model so based on kind of like the mid-war um to late war uh bf109 we mainly saw uh starting off with we have the um uh, wings here both sides we have the radiators located right here um, for the nose here standard pre nose on it we have what would be the 7.62 machine guns that'd be kind of coming out from this section here and also the cannon 20 millimeter would be located right here I believe this model also had some 7.62 millimeters mounted in the wings but obviously with just the scale of the aircraft we're not able to really represent those too much uh, as you can see we have the camouflage on it here this is a camouflage that i have seen kind of iconic for some of the g6 models um, it's kind of a really cool camouflage and um, personally one of my favorites for the bf 9 so that's why i went ahead and did it the way i did it for this obviously you can change the camouflage to whatever you guys want uh, but this one here is what we'll be covering in the tutorial and obviously with the tail here nothing too fancy of it pretty straightforward stuff there and 
yeah, that right there is pretty much the new version for the BF109 uh, G6. Absolutely beautiful aircraft and should be a fun addition to any of your worlds. With that though, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by the beginning of our first layer. Alright guys, so moving into our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and start off layer 2. Now, a few things to mention for this aircraft. One, to begin with, is that if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're going to be building the entire center line of the aircraft in the right side, and it'll be up to you guys to take what we do on the right side and copy it over to the left side. Pretty straightforward, makes the tutorial a little bit faster, and obviously we don't need the redundancy of going over the same thing twice. So, uh, pretty straightforward, and once we kind of get through a few, few layers, it'll make a little more sense as to what we're doing. One thing I also want to mention is that the camo for the wings will be done uh, later at the end. Once we have the wings complete and the build entirely complete, we'll go back and uh, add the camo to the wings because it is a little bit more specialized compared to the fuselage, which is has a completely symmetrical camo on both sides. So um, we're not going to worry about uh, we're not going to worry about doing that at the end, but we will be worried about the wings as the wings are a little bit more specific, and I do want to talk about those a little bit more specifically um, at that part. And um, yeah, in case you also didn't pick up on that, this is also the in-flight model only. There will be a landed version of this aircraft coming soon, um, but this is the in-flight model also only in this tutorial. So if you're looking for the in-flight or the landed version, uh, then uh, you're going to have to disregard this tutorial and um, we'll hold off until we get the landed version out as a tutorial. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to place down a birch top slab, followed by a birch upside down stair, two yellow concrete blocks, then one, two, three, four, five stone blocks, a cobblestone block, a cobblestone upside down stair, cobblestone top slab, polished blackstone top slab, a birch wood um, top slab here. And we're going to go ahead and then skip a space and then place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this block here. We can then delete that block and that right there is going to form our center line there for the aircraft. At this point, we're going to then take our yellow stained glass panes. We're going to place down two panes here next to these two yellow uh, concrete blocks. After that, we're going to place down one, two, three cobblestone full blocks, two cobblestone stairs, and then a light gray stained glass pane right here, followed by a skeleton skull. If you're on Java, we can go ahead and use a debug stick here to go ahead and change the facings of this glass pane so that they face, uh, for me it would be north and south, but we can go ahead and angle it so that the pane kind of stretches across here and kind of fills that space in a little bit better. If you're on Bedrock or Pocket Edition you do not have access to a debug stick, if that's the case just place down the glass pane, but Java we can have that feature to make it look just a tiny bit better um, in that space there. After that we're going to then take our stone slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three along those uh, cobblestone blocks and then a polished andesite slab there. We're going to then do the same thing here, one, two, three, stone blocks, and an air polished andesite slab. Then one, two stone blocks, or stone slabs I should say, followed by a polished andesite slab. And then again, same thing, two polished andesite, or sorry, two stone slabs and a polished andesite slab. We're going to then go up to a top slab. So we're going to place down two stone top slabs, a polished andesite top slab like so. Same row again, two stone top slabs, polished andesite top slab. And then we want to do two rows of three of stone top slabs and then one stone top slab there coming off the center one like that and a skeleton skull on the side of this slab like so. With uh, that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up for what we have there for layer 2. Looking at it from a top down view, this is what we should have. You're going to take what we do on the right side, flip it over to the left side and you'll be good to go for this layer. Anyways, that right there is it for layer 2. Let's drop down to layer number 1. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into layer 1. For layer 1, what we're going to do is we're going to drop down here to the bottom of the fuselage. We're going to place down a birchwood trap door underneath that yellow concrete block. Uh, the second one right there, we're going to then place down two iron trapdoors back from that, followed by two stone slabs, and then a lever on this stone block here, flicked to connect up to that stone top slab, just like that. After that's done, coming off this second iron trapdoor here, we're going to place down one iron trapdoor to the side, and then we're going to go back uh, two more, so you have a row of three there. Coming off the center uh, iron trapdoor, we're going to place down two stone slabs, or two stone top slabs over the side, followed by two iron frames on the side of those or inside those item frames and we're going to go ahead and rotate these so the pillows are facing toward the outsides like so. And from here on Java for an extra bit of detail we can go ahead and place down a dark liquid sign along the side there of those slabs like that as well to kind of detail those up a little bit further. Um, however if you're on bedrock and pocket edition you're not able to place down item frames and um, signs in the same block space so if that's the case just go ahead and place down your item frames and disregard those signs if you're on those two versions. Anyways uh, with that though that right there is going to conclude layer number one. And with that, let's go ahead and move up to layer number three. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. 
for layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and place down a cobblestone block, which is going to go ahead and go on top of this birch wood top slab. Coming off that block, we're going to place down a yellow concrete block toward the front and a polished blackstone button there on the very tip there of that block like so. Going back from this cobblestone block, we're going to place down an additional one, two, three, and four cobblestone blocks back. At this point here, you can go ahead and either leave a space of three open, or you can place down three black concrete blocks. The difference here being, if you want to do an interior, you can go ahead and leave the space of three open and add your own interior if you do want. If you do want this just to be kind of closed and not worry about an interior, you can just fill in the black concrete there to fill in that space there. So, kind of up to you guys on what you guys want to do there. Anyways, after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five great concrete blocks back, a yellow concrete block, a cobblestone block, and then two cobblestone walls back after that. Going to the bottom of this cobblestone block here, we're going to place down a lever and have it flicked back so it connects up to that wither skeleton skull there for the back tail wheel. And after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front and start working our way out to the sides. We're going to start by placing down a light gray stink glass pane on both sides of this cobblestone block here. Two cobblestone walls back, a cobblestone upside on stair, and then one, two, three, four, five polished black stone walls, two cobblestone walls, two uh, gray stained glass panes like that back and then we just want to place down a row of four of iron trap doors coming off this uh, cobblestone full block here on the tail and once we have that done we're going to go up here to the left front and we're going to go and place down a wither skeleton skull coming off this polished black stone wall and then coming off that skull we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that for this little intake uh, scoop there on the left side of the aircraft and that's going to the left side and the left side only with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up layer number three. Taking a look at it from up above, this is what we should have from the top down view. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer four. For layer four to begin with, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of this cobblestone uh, block here. We then want to place down a daylight detector. And, we're turn the, uh, and then we're going to place down a second one after that. Turn these both to the night mode, so they should be the light blue color. We're going to then place down two polished black stone slabs, followed by one and two black stained glass full blocks and then a polished black stone stair. After that polished black stone stair, we're going to place down two gray concrete blocks, then one, two, three polished black stone slabs, a daylight detector again, turn to night mode, a um, gray concrete block here, a cobblestone block here, and then a cobblestone wall there on the very end. Going back up to the front, work our way out to the sides here on top of the second cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a flower pot on both sides, followed by a wither skeleton school, and then a wither skeleton school at a slight angle, like that to both sides there. We're going to then place down one, two, three black stained glass panes back, and one and two light or just sorry gray stained glass panes back, and then a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle like down on both sides. Then on the back here for the tail, we're going to place down a row of four of daylight detectors across like so, and we're going to turn these all to the night mode. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of iron trap doors coming off the last three there. And then in this space, we're going to go ahead and place down a block right here, and then we're going to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle, so like so, on top of that block, and then we're just going to go ahead and delete it like so. So we create that like that for the back of the tail. And with uh, that all done also, we're going to go ahead and take a number. So you can see here that I went ahead and created a gray banner with a yellow number. I'm not going to show you guys specifically in this tutorial how to cover the different banners or how to make the numbers and all that stuff. I'll, I'll leave that to, to you guys. But just know you can go ahead and make the number, you can go and do a two-digit two number on there on the side of the aircraft like so, or just a one-digit if you prefer. But whatever you decide to do, we're going to have our one-digit on this glass pane, and then our double-digit numbers will be on the two glass panes like that. So you kind of have some playability for it, you can go ahead and put some numbers on the aircraft there. And again, we're just using a gray banner and using yellow dye to make the number. So that right there is pretty much about it for layer number... Uh, four for the build and with that let's go ahead and move into our last final layers here layers five and six I right, guess moving into our final layers here We have layers five through six for these layers to get started with we're gonna place down a end rod which will be on top of This polished black stone stair right here and then after this we're gonna go ahead and then go to the tail of the aircraft We're gonna go ahead and place down a cobblestone block on top of this one here We're gonna then place down a gray stained glass pane on the front here and Then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a light gray stained glass pane and place that here on the rear on top of this uh, cobblestone block here, we're going to then place down a polished blackstone slab like so. We then want to go ahead and go off this polished blackstone slab. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven barrier blocks toward the front. And we're going to place down stone buns here on the sides here of the barrier blocks, so just the one side. So it could be the left or right side, doesn't really matter for me. I just went ahead and did the right side here. And then we're going to place down a lever coming off this 
uh, last barrier block and have it aimed down to connect up to this lever like so. And the last thing we need to do for this aircraft is going to be the um, props. The props here, super simple. We're going to grab Wither Skeleton Skulls and on this yellow concrete block we're going to build one, two, and three Wither Skeleton Skulls to the side. And then from that we're going to go and grab Polished Black Snow Walls. We're going to go and go up and at an angle to the opposite side like so. And then for this section down here we're going to go and go down and out to the side there with uh, those walls. So it should look like this here for the front there for the props of our aircraft. Anyways, with that all complete there, that right there is going to complete the base model here for the in-flight version. We're going to go ahead and now move into the camouflage and uh, talk about the camouflage on the wings there and how to go about doing that, which they're pretty straightforward to do. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and move into the camouflage on the wings. Alright guys, so when it comes to the camouflage on the wings, the main thing I want to focus in on is how to go ahead and go about doing it. Now for this aircraft model in particular, the way that they did this is they actually had the camo kind of angled in these stripe patterns that would go across and we're going to be using polished um, blackstone slabs for this for that darker gray color but they just kind of went in diagonals and there wasn't really a certain kind of set pattern for it um, some of these obviously being a little thicker than others um, but we just kind of want to like work in these kind of diagonals and they can be at different angles so you can see this one's not as steep as this one um, but we just kind of want to do something like that there to fit in with the wings and you can kind of do your own thing for this you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing um, but yeah, just kind of go crazy with it. Um, there's some fun things you can do with these, uh, this kind of design here and just kind of create some cool patterns there on the wings and we'll maybe do a little bit right here. So we'll just have kind of our wing tip and we'll also go ahead and change our skeleton skulls out there as well. We can put a wither one there to kind of keep that pattern a little bit more consistent. Uh, but yeah, looking at from above here, this is kind of something you want. As you can see, it's nothing real crazy nothing too complicated and uh overall pretty kind of straightforward design there for the wings and obviously don't worry about the underbelly here um as that camo would shine through onto the belly as well anyways that right there is going to complete um the in-flight version for my bf109 g6 hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use if you do use this build i do ask you guys give me proper credit for it this can be anything from a side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does bring social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for it you're free for our projects you guys are working on and that thank you guys again so much for watching as always don't forget like comment and subscribe this is gear 204 and i'll see you guys next time